Yo, right guys, this is Game Boy Luke here, and today I'm going to show you how to get unlimited money in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. If you're not new to the channel, then you won't know that I don't usually make these kind of videos. But this is something I've been labbing for the last few days now, and uh, I felt the need to share with you guys when I had it somewhat near perfected. I didn't want to just drop it when it wasn't working properly. And I honestly think that getting your guys' input on this might even perfect this even more. Now, if you're like me, you'll uh, enjoy raiding in this game. It's a whole bunch of fun, to be honest with you. But the main issue with raiding in this game is that you need to make a bunch of really good Pokemon. Or in some cases, actually, you probably only need to use Berserker. But even if you're just making a really sick raid Pokemon like Berserker or Maridon or Coridon, then you do need a lot of money. And the reason being that you need so much money is because all of these vitamins cost so much money. If you want to buy... 26 protein to max out, uh, or let's say, let's say, uh, yeah, 26 protein. You buy 26 protein to max out your special attack or your physical attack. It costs 260,000 polka dollars. And if you're gonna do that as, as well with carbos, with speed or HP up for raid mons, uh, for HP, then it's costing you 520,000 polka dollars. On top of needing maybe an ability capsule, bottle caps, stuff like that, the price just keeps going up and up. By the time you've finished making one Pokemon, you could have spent upwards of like six to 700,000 Poké Dollars, and that's, it, it's a lot of money. After I've made a few Pokemon in this game, I was very, very grateful for the quality of life stuff they put in this game, but it, it meant that you needed a lot of cash. One thing I didn't actually realize was that in this game, just like in Sword and Shield, your money actually goes over uh, 999, 999,999. It actually goes into the millions. I think it may even go into 9.999 million, I think. Which is nice, because if you're spending like 600k of Pokemon, then you need to stack up your money in order to buy multiple uh, items in order to EV enough of your, your, your raid mons and stuff like that. But what's the best way about getting money in this game? In my opinion, to begin with, all I was doing was heading back up to the top of Mesagoza and back into the academy and doing the Ace Academy tournament that they do and just running through it over and over and over again in order to make money. When you have the amulet coin, I think if you run through the academy like one time, I think you get about 100 grand. And that can usually take you about 15 to 20 minutes, basically just spamming it against the Pokemon you're fighting against. But this got me thinking. I was wondering, is there a way that you could potentially automate this entire thing? When you sign up to fight in the academy, it literally puts you right here. So if you, if you save right here and just mash the A button, when you beat the academy, the game spits you back out right in front of this guy. And if you're still pushing A, you'll enroll yourself in the, in the tournament again. And you can just keep doing this over and over and over again. The next thing you only really need at this point is a strong enough Pokemon with a good attacking move that can sweep every single trainer. I'm sure some of you have clocked on to exactly uh, where I'm going with this. But if we go and we look at the tournament teams that we have to fight against. Terby will give you a list of all the things that you can win from doing this, by the way. But also, it will give you a um, every single Pokemon you have to face and every single trainer that you have to face. Originally, I was basically just sending out Maridon uh, with Dazzling Gleam and just spamming the A button because Maridon's Dazzling Gleam could basically knock out every single Pokemon that I needed to fight against. But there were a few Pokemon that were giving me trouble. For example, uh, Miriam's Toxapex is incredibly bulky and has Recover and Toxic. So I, when I realized when I wasn't paying attention, I was just mashing the A button, I would lose against this Toxapex. And in some situations, there's also uh, Rifleet's Gengar, who has Curse Body. So Dazzling Gleam doesn't actually one-shot this Gengar and will Curse Body you. And then you're just spamming A on, on Dazzling Gleam. And you're not doing anything because it's disabled, right? My stream and I came up with the perfect Pokemon or near-perfect Pokemon to use for something like this. If you have a controller that has a turbo input, you can push the A button and the turbo button at the same time, and the game will just spam the A button over and over again. With the right Pokemon, let's say this Crocodile, for example, uh, with Moxie and Crunch, every time it pushes A, it selects Crunch, kills a Pokemon, gets a Moxie boost, and then kills the next Pokemon. With a turbo button, I left this on last night, uh, and I'm sh I'll, I'll show you the results. I had zero, I had zero money. Uh, when I started doing this, I, I was on my stream yesterday. I had absolutely zero cash. And after one night of doing this, I managed to get 2.5, 2.4 million polka dollars just overnight by leaving my, my switch on and turbo controlling through the tournament. There was one instance where I did get crit by Dendra's Tauros. 
and that put me to a low enough health to in, uh, to actually be defeated by her. And the worst case scenario in that, in that situation is you end up going to the Pokemon Center and because your turbo controller is still smashing the A button, you do end up just basically talking to Nurse Joy over and over again. But in the seven and a half hours to eight hours that I was doing this, I didn't get crit once by her Tauros and managed to make so, so much money. So the success rate of this is like, I don't know, like 90, 95%. But if you guys can think of a better Pokemon to use than this crocodile, that's basically just, you know, bottle capped in every single stat, it's max HP, it's max attack, and it's holding the clear amulet, uh, specifically for Penny's baby doll eyes evolutions, because uh, if you reduce your attack, then you won't be able to defeat the Sylveon at the end. And also there's an Arcanine that has Intimidate. So you do kind of need the other uh, clear amulet. If you could think of a better Pokemon that could hold the amulet coin whilst doing this, you double the money you'd make. You'd probably make like four to five mil overnight. If you take a look at the footage on screen right now, uh, you can see that uh, Crocodile literally comes in and my turbo controller is literally just pushing the A button over and over and over again and will continuously use Crunch, kill Pokemon, get the Moxie Boost, and then take the prize money at the end. And then when I've defeated every single trainer, like I said, it just spits you out in front of this guy again where your controller is still pushing the A button and entering yourself in the next tournament to make your next buck. One other thing I do need to mention as well is the reason you can only have one Pokemon on your team is because they removed the set mode from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So if you have a turbo controller mashing the A button, when you try to switch Pokemon, it's, it, it'll come up with a dialogue of yes or no, and your controller is going to select yes every time, and then spam A switch on the Pokemon that's already out on the field. But if you only have one Pokemon, the prompt for asking you if you'd like to switch out Pokemon never appears, so you can only do this automated with one Pokemon on your team. Of course, you do need to shell out a little bit of real life money in order to actually do this. A lot of the turbo controllers I find are around the $20 to $30 range. You can find them on, I think, Amazon. I, 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 again, not sponsored by anybody here, but I think the Hori Pad is one of the best ones that you can use. It literally has a turbo button right in the middle. You just push turbo and push A and boom, you're off. But that's basically what I've discovered. I literally made, I think, four to three, three to four fully EV Pokemon yesterday. This morning, I had woken up to... 2.4 million poker dollars when I had literally zero last night. I think this is the most efficient way to grind money in this game. And to be honest, with you, even if you don't have a turbo controller, if you have your switch in hand while you're doing other things throughout the day or a Joy-Con in your hand, you can just tap the A button whilst you're doing other things. That's how I was doing this initially. I'd have my uh, switch mounted on my coffee table whilst I was watching TV and I would just be pushing the A button until I got my pro controller. That also works. Yeah, I know how expensive things can be in this game. The quality of life stuff is really, really good, but it is really expensive to, to do things in this game. So money is absolutely an, an, an important resource to have. So I hope that this helped you guys. And of course, if you can think of a different Pokemon outside of Crocodile to do this with, please let me know in the comment section below and definitely try this out for yourself. Uh, the uh, Crocodile is definitely near perfect, but not quite there. So if you guys can think of anything better, please let me know. I'd love to see what you guys can think of. If this helps you, make sure you like the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.